thank you, um, Judy Young. I believe she's left and she's representing our MP, Sean Shen. You did a wonderful job. Praise God. Praise God. So at this time, we will have our presentation, a tribute presentation. It will be done by Pastor Rosalie Dillis. Praise God. Put your hands together for her. Praise God. Okay, I might sound low because of the mic, but your good evening, not up to par. It's our 22nd anniversary, and as you know, and those who have been here for a good while, know that I am one of you. Yes, I am. I was a God Chef 2016. Yes, I was. 2016, I was adopted by a Redeemer. Yes. And funny enough, yes. we met on Facebook. <laughs> what and God. she is also my prophetess and pastor. Yes. Praise God. Yes. And the first time I officially preached, I preached right here. Oh. Do you remember? Yes. Yes. yes, right here. Oh. And we know that we have a genuine connection. It is 2024 and I'm here. And my words haven't changed. I love you, my friend. Deeply. And she loves me deeply. It's not often you find someone who loves you genuinely. And even if I don't see her, every night before I go to bed, that thing comes up. If she doesn't send it, if messenger should send it to WhatsApp. She's faithful. Very faithful. Poor God. And Redeemer. Redeemer. She loves you. Poor God. Please, I beg you. You need her. I need her. Continue to treat her well. As she has treated you, you should return in kind. Praise God. We haven't seen anything yet. When we launched the book, and notice what I said? When we launched. So when we launched those books, we said that there were greater things coming. And I'm here to tell you today that the greater is here. The greater is here. And with that greater, a lot has happened since 2020. And Redeemer has lost, lost a lot, gone through a lot. But if you don't go through anything, you don't have a testimony. Because of your loss, because of the pain you have gone through, yes. I'm here to tell you that you're going now into a year of fire. Oh. When you go through the fire, the purification takes place. The hurt will dissipate. But most importantly, I'm here to tell you the fire dome has arrived over you. The fire dome that comes from above has arrived over you and your ministry. Redeem, I encourage you, hear me clearly. When you pray for yourself and this ministry and your past, say, Lord, let the fire dome remain over us and this ministry. You see, there are darts that are flying. There are arrows that are flying. But the door is your protection going forward in order to experience the fire. You have a ministry that is very prophetic. And there are many prophecies that have been told in here. But this woman of God has become a global prophetess. Amen. Amen. 
But she's not just prophesying to you and I anymore. She's prophesying to the nation. And because of that, she needs the fire dome. She needs that dome of fire. You need that dome of fire to stand with her. Therefore, you have to pray in one accord. And that oneness is the dome of fire. Father, in the name of Jesus, we cover this woman of God with the dome of heavenly fire that no weapon can penetrate. No weapon shall Hey, a weapon of fire in this season going forward. Without it, you won't make it. The arrows are already fired and they come in fast. They come in fast. But you don't know fire. All right. God Almighty placed it over you, your ministry, your family, the dome of fire, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, what God has in store for you. Hallelujah! Praise God. I'm here with, I think about nine of us came, to celebrate your 22nd anniversary. And to appreciate this wonderful, 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 precious woman of God. A rare gem. A rare gem. He would not be God if he kept her in these four walls. He would not be God. Because God don't do things for our sake, but his name's sake. For our sake, we would be selfish enough to lock her in this four walls. But for his name's sake, he's taking her global. Hallelujah. So arise and shine, Redeemer. Arise and shine. Rise to the occasion. She has prepared you. I've never been to a church, and I've gone to quite a few. It has so many prophetess, aspiring prophets, ministers, evangelists, pastors. Because you see the flesh flares up. And the covetous spirit crime crawls in. But God has kept you. He has kept you. He has allowed you to stand as one. Redeemer of Canada. So I have with me today, we have a mic over there. So I have with me today Rev. Minister LG. A very good friend, a Pastor McLean. <laughs> Every time I refer to my friend, Dr. Brown, he refers to you. <laughs> Is that where you're coming from? Yes, 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 yes. So I brought him today to bless you. Bless you. But I want to say the words coming to an end. The words are coming to an end. The words are coming to an end. You did it large because you're a class. And every time you're doing something, you go big. And the devil doesn't like it. But with your fire door, Go as large as you want. God is with you, is for you, and no weapon formed against you shall prosper.
So I know what I'm saying. Higher. 